is up good afternoon everybody good afternoon it's barely 758 we are on here early it's been a while that i've been on here before eight o'clock and i'm on here at before eight o'clock it's 758 so right now we should have a lot of people watching me right but we don't have no one just yet but they'll be coming right now so i'm doing a live on facebook so uh, you could see me on the ecamm or you can see me live on facebook i'm on live on facebook right now let me see if i can tap some friends in let me search a group. Let me search with some groups. Where we go? So let me go right there. Share. We're going to share for a few things now. Let's just let's do it right now. Let's let them know. Let's just let's go, man. Let's go. Let people see me live right now. I think I could just do a few of them. But anyway, guys, um, today we are talking about how to defeat the evil sugar addiction, how to defeat the evil sugar addiction. And I'm going to show you all in 14 days. I'm giving you all a 14 day challenge. And if y'all listen to what I'm telling y'all, y'all can beat the addiction. Right. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm the Arthur, the author, the Arthur, the author, me and my wife of the truth key to his life. It's an Amazon number one seller. So make sure you go pick it up. The truth key to his life. I have a book right here. I have a book right here. And you can come check it out. But yeah, man, we live over here. Let me see what we have over going on here right here. Appreciate you. Uh, I hope I'm saying the name right. Abaldo. Abalda. I hope I'm saying the name right. So uh, make sure you share my video. You can invite people right now as, as I'm talking. You can invite people over here. Man, sugar addiction. It is so dangerous very very dangerous right and today i'm also going to talk to you about your dopamine dopamine um what what makes you react to a lot of things to when you're happy when you're sad is dopamine from your brain right and what you want to do is you want to balance that out see a lot of times addictions happen because of dopamine y'all get too much of it way too much of it and when you get way too much of it you're not balancing it out and if you don't balance it out then it could be a bad thing, right? So you want it to be a good thing. So you want it to use it and you want to balance out. There's nothing wrong with having some, but have it for the right reasons, right? You don't want to have it for the wrong reasons. So today, um, shout out to Joe, man. We got Joe on here. Uh, I think he left a, a, a posting last time. Uh, if you need to do the, um, the electric work on, on your, matter of fact, I'm gonna hit you up on that, bro. Uh, if you need to get electric work to be able to, you know, hook up your, generator i just bought two generators because i was i would never go through that again man you know um this time i want to be a little bit prepared for it so how to defeat the evil sugar addiction guys i'm trying everything i can do to to show people that they can beat the addiction i beat the addiction look i i beat the addiction man look i beat the addiction I beat the addiction. Me and my wife and other people that I have helped, that I've coached, I beat the addiction. 
Is it going to be easy? No, it's not going to be easy because you got to understand something. D- ch- sugar? I'm over the sh- Sugar is, did you know sugar is eight times as addictive as cocaine? Eight times addictive as cocaine. And check this out. And one interesting is while cocaine and heroin active only one spot for pleasure in the brain. Sugar lights up the brain like a pinball machine. Do you understand that sugar causes more damage? And don't get me wrong. I still think drugs are bad. But do you understand that sugar causes more problems as cocaine? More problems than cocaine. You know, neither one's good. Now, sugar is one of the things that we need. We're addicted to it. We want it. You know, we want it no matter what. We we want it and everything. And so we love sugar. A lot of times we get 34, 35 teaspoons or tables, actually tablespoons a day of sugar. Because sugar's in everything, right? So we have to have this sugar. We need to have this sugar, right? Honestly, you don't need to have this sugar. You don't because it's damaging you. See, and we're not just talking about sugar. We're talking about everything that has sugar that's disguised and they don't tell you. Like high fructose, corn syrup, barley malt, golden sugar, molasses, you know, all these words. Some of these words... You know, uh, muscovado, all these words are disguised and they're all sugar. And some of them, they don't disguise it. Powdered sugar, raw sugar, buttered sugar. And you see something like, oh, you know what? It's it's better. uh, Motto, you know, uh, at the motto, I think they said Um, Carmel. There's a lot of stuff. A circle. Circle, circles, 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 circles is the one that's in everything. So it's in the stuff that says sugar free, but it's actually not sugar free. You know, fruit juice. It's in everything. Sugar is in everything. Take a picture right now of ev- all this sugar. And I guarantee you're going to see it all over your products and everything. Corn syrup. All this is sugar. Everything is sugar. And a lot of people, they don't know that. They don't know that that's all sugar, right? And if they know, they they don't, it's an addiction. They can't beat the addiction. So the main question that everybody has is, how do I leave sugar alone? How do I leave all the sodas alone? How do I leave the, the, the pies, the sweet bread, the donuts, everything, you know? How do I leave that alone? It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. It's a 14. I give you 14 day challenge because in 14 days you can break any habit. You honestly can break any habit, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be the hardest thing you probably did your whole life. Right. It's going to be hard. And up to now. So 14 day challenge. What happens if I tell you, okay, um, Joe or whoever's joining me right now, if I tell you, hey, I want to show you that you're going to break this addiction. This is what I need you to do. So the first week, you're going to have withdrawals. You're going to have headaches. You're going to be bloated. You're going to feel sick. You're going to feel lightheaded. You're going to feel awful. You're going to feel really awful. Because remember, it's an addiction. That's what sugar is. Sugar is an addiction. That's it. It's an addiction. That's why sometimes when people eat sugar, they think, first of all, let's get this point across. If you think sugar gives you energy, you're thinking wrong because it don't give you energy. If you think sugar picks you up, again, you're wrong because it don't pick you up. And if you feel like it does that, it does that for such a short period of time. But that's not energy you're feeling. That's the addiction, right? So when you get that feeling, of course, your dopamine's like, boom, it's like way high. And you're like, oh, my God, I feel good. But then what happens later on, 
you crash. You feel awful. You got no energy. You want to, you want, you want another, think you get another Coke. You drink four or five Cokes. Cause I used to do it. I used to drink four or five Cokes. I used to walk around with two liter Cokes and one liters. It was a daily routine for me. You know, I thought my wife was going to join me. Where's my wife at? She should be coming on here in a little bit. But guys, make sure if you're looking at the ECAM, make sure you hit the ECAM. I'm on the ECAM and I'm also on Facebook Live and share, man. Guys, invite people right now to this video. All I ask you is to invite people so we can help people. That's all my main goal is to help people defeat diabetes, type 2 diabetes. I'm even helping people that have type 1 diabetes. And I know that I can't help them to the sense where they're going to be able to not give themselves insulin no more because they're not making insulin. They don't make insulin. Type 2 is the best. When I hear somebody tell me they're type 2, I get excited. And I don't get excited because I'm, I'm, I'm happy because they're type 2. I get happy because I know that I can get them. I can help them beat it. We're going to defeat it. And we do it together. And when they're type 1, I say, you know what? What I can do for you when you're type 1 is I can make sure your levels don't be going up and down. Matter of fact, not too long ago, Gilbert Garcia, they, they took away his um, blood pressure medicine. So he had one medicine less to worry about, you know. Uh, my sister was diabetic for I don't know how many years, over 20-something years, maybe 30-something years. And recently they took her off her medicine. She's not, she's not doing the keto lifestyle, but she is looking at my videos, and she does do less sugar. She does a lot of less sugar. See, you got to understand something. Doctors are never going to be able to cure the disease. And before we start talking about doctors. Attention, my advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way. So, guys, I used to be addicted to sugar. Everything for me was about sugar. I used to drink energy drinks. I drank the ones that they give you wings. I, they didn't give me wings. They gave me diabetes. You know, I, I drank a lot of the bad stuff, a lot of Gatorades. I used to slam them Gatorades and everything and drink all the sodas and, and all the Welsh, the Welches. You don't remember my Welch. Welch is old school, but I did a lot of soda water drinking, you know. And I don't need, I don't have to have it anymore. I don't have an addiction no more. You know, I don't have to have donuts. I used to go in and buy donuts all the time and and buy this and everything. And I don't I don't have to know. I don't buy it no more. I, I don't even I, Shipley's disgusts me when I pass Shipley's. I, oh, man, they need to get rid of this place. That's crazy. At one time, I was like, man, they need to build more places like this. But it's because I had addiction. Now, you could go in and say, you know what? Sugar ain't no addiction and sugar ain't going to hurt you. And I've been doing sugar and this and that. But I promise you, I promise you it's going to catch up to you. You know, a lot of times you're young right now. Your body's young. So your body can take more uh, of the sugar and take this and take that and take all these chemicals and take it and keep on taking this and gluten and everything. But there's going to be a point where your engine light's going to come on. There's going to be a point where you're going to end up in the hospital, where you're going to be sick. You know, I, I was coaching some people, and just recently, they passed away from the COVID. But it was not so much the COVID. It was the health problem they had, that they've been having. You see, I help people build their immune system. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something you can do to build your immune system, right? The best thing that you can drink all the time is water and get you a good water get you a good water that has really electrolytes because those electrolytes are really going to help you right and you got to remember when you're doing the keto lifestyle your body's not producing water it's not and you might get constipated so where do i where where do i work for people at where when i i'm a coach right so i could come in and tell people hey you know what and especially you have somebody that already went through it. I went through it. I've been through it. I've been there. You know, I remember sleeping, sitting down because I had real bad asthma. 
You know, I remember my brain not functioning right. I just felt terrible. Didn't want to wake up in the mornings. Didn't have no reason to wake up in the mornings. Didn't want to wake up. Today, man, I wake up and I'm happy. I'm ready to go over there and, and tell people, man, you know what? We we serve an amazing Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and, and your health can be better and and you have to get your health right. It'll be a better thing for you and there's a better way to live and 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 let's do this, you know? And motivate people and push people and tell people, man, you know what? You can do it. Don't let no one tell you you cannot do it. The only person that can tell you you can't do it is yourself. Is yourself. Now I know deleting sugar out your life is not going to be easy. But I promise you, if you delete sugar out your life, these are the benefits from it. You will beat type 2 diabetes. You will beat high, having high blood pressure. You will beat having your arthritis, having your body swollen, having, um, so if you have psoriasis, if you have any kind of skin infections, problems, if you have, any, if you're breaking out, if you have any acne and everything, you will beat all of that, right? When I got some of my, Something went in my eye. I don't know what it is, though, but hold on. I ain't going to better get it out. I'm going to stop messing with it because I'm going to get it real irritated. But, excuse me, you will beat everything. You know, I come from having type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure. I had high blood pressure before I had type 2 diabetes. Fatty liver. All the time I went to the doctor, you'll have fatty liver. Scary. You don't know what fatty liver. Fatty liver is dangerous. Believe me, it's dangerous. It starts causing problems. It starts causing inflammation. Inflammation starts causing problems in your oxygen and your the oxygen in your blood. So now you start having a lot of problems. You know. And at one time I had those problems, and I knew I had to do something. I had to do something, man. And you have to want this. I know food's good. I'll be the first to tell you, man, food is good. And it continues being good for me. I did this book to let people know that you still can enjoy delicious food without the sugar. Very low carb. You still can enjoy delicious food. And I, this is the blueprint. I'm telling you right there. You know what? If you want to start the keto lifestyle or you just want to delete sugar out your life or you just want to live a better, healthy life. Guess what? Pick up the book. The truth. The key to his life, because it's that exactly that. It's the truth. I'm not holding nothing back. I'm telling you the truth. You see now I got one person over here and I got. I probably got. Three people over here. I'm not sure what have over, but appreciate y'all being on here. Yes, I have two people over here. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, bring. I, I don't even know how to bring people to the camera. It says bring them to the to on the camera. I don't know how to do that, but anyway, um, I don't want to bring somebody to the camera and not, and not, you know what I'm saying be like they pop out or something. But that's the problem with today. That's the problem because people do not take their health right. People probably watching my show and they're eating or they're doing this. Ah, you know what? He's talking about the same stuff about deleting sugar out of his life and, and doing that. And I'm trying to actually wake people up and help them. Do you know when people come and come back and call me and, and tell me when they're in the hospital, sometimes when they're in the hospital, sometimes and sometimes they don't even do that. Sometimes they get in the hospital they, they go through, they might, if they're diabetes, they might lose part of their leg. They might lose part of their toes. And, and then they decide to call me and then still don't do it. They give up. They give up on themselves. You know, I had somebody say, me, you know what, Free? Man, this diabetes is going to kill me. And I say, it don't have to kill you. You have type 2. You have type 2. When they tell me you have type 2, that means it could be defeated. It could be defeated. You're giving up on type 2? You prefer to give yourself shots and, and do all this? 
and continue giving yourself insulin and continue seeing them doctors because eventually them doctors are going to mess up your eyesight where you're not going to be able to see. And they don't stop there. Now you got kidneys that are going to fail because your kidneys are going to go bad. It don't stop there. It keeps on going. That's what diabetes is. When a person gets high blood pressure, they could have a blood clog and they're gone. That happened to my one of my best friends. Blood clog in the leg. Guess where it was from? Diabetes, high blood pressure. It all goes together. And what is it that you have to do? Change. See sugar for what it is. You know, yesterday I did a show because I didn't do my show on Saturday, but I did a show yesterday. And the show was talking about sometimes we hear what we want to hear instead of hearing what we need to hear. Right. Sometimes we hear people. I mean, I told people about the keto lifestyle. They'll say, oh, you know what, man? I heard it's dangerous. I heard that instead of hearing it's going to help me. It's going to destroy every health problem I have. They want to hear, oh, it's dangerous. So they can continue doing the same thing they're doing. And they're going to do it year after year after year. Guys, we live in such a short time. Such a short time. You know what? I have a friend of mine that I was trying to, to talk to because they have real bad asthma. Well, during time, the storm, they had no power. I'm feeling bad. I'm like, man, I've, I've been trying to tell them to, to walk, walk farther, do something, leave the sugar alone. I haven't talked to them. I, I don't even know if they're in the hospital or what. I haven't talked to them. Why? Because they have the bad sleeping, the sleeping thing where they feel like they're going to choke, you know. And I used to go through that. And they had all that. And, and then they have the asthma and everything. And they're diabetic and everything. So give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance. You know, at, uh, there was a lot of times where I wouldn't be able to. If you know, if you know free, if you know me from four years ago. Then, you know, I would always get asthma. And, you know, that. um I would be in the hospital. A lot of times I was in the hospital. I, I wasn't trying to show no one or nothing like that. I, I wish I would have. I wish I would have. But I didn't know that I was going to be able to beat the addiction. I never knew I was going to be doing these shows. I never knew I was going to be. If I had all that content that I had when I was in the hospital, when, when, when they were putting uh, shots and give me all this stuff when I have to stay over and everything. If I had all that content, then it would be more fire, you know, to put out so I could tell, hey, you know what? This this is me. This is me. This is me. This is what I was going through. But I don't have it because I never thought I was embarrassed. I never thought I was going to be able to get out of that. Right. But by the by the grace of God, I was able to get out. See, we don't do this. We don't do this by ourselves. We don't do this with our family. I do it with my immediate family, but we don't do this with our family. We don't do this with our brothers and sisters and everything because they got their own life. We do this with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's who we do it with. Sometimes we say, oh, God, I'm a pray. I pray to my God and I go to church and I do all that and everything. And, and, and you, you're trying to do that because you're trying to feel good about yourself. Stop praying to him so much. Thank him. Thank him. Always thank him for the next move he's about to make. And put him and don't be afraid to put him in front of everything. Leave him in control. He, he's he's the almighty for a reason. Leave him in control. God can take care and do anything that needs to be done. But he has to know that you want it as bad as he does. That you're willing to go forward with it. That you're willing to do it. You know? So, who we have on here? Shout out to Julie. Appreciate you, Julie, being on here. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for being on here. And, um, uh, Share my video, guys. Please share my videos. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Key to his life TV. And take a moment to go pick up the number one seller cookbook at 
in Amazon. I always say at Amazon. My wife says in Amazon. So it's in Amazon, at Amazon, there. Go pick it up. It's an amazing full color book. I have all types of recipes in there. All types of recipes. I have where you could build your immune system up where, man, this book would change your life. It, it, it would do exactly that, you know, for people that have been buying the book. Go look at the reviews. I don't have a lot of reviews because the book barely came out. Probably been now maybe like a month already. But, hey, man, it's still sitting at number one and it's doing really good. Go look at the reviews. We put a lot into this book. So in one part of the book, I'm showing you how to build your immune system bulletproof. I have a bulletproof immune system. Because right now when people get into COVID and stuff like that, that's going to protect you. That's going to help you right there. That's going to help you. I have a tea thanks to my partner, TrishnaT.com. See, I do a lot of things. You see, when I was doing one thing, God was in my ear saying, free, you have to do another thing. And when I did this free, you have to do another thing. Free, you have to get these people to understand that sugar is the devil and sugar is going to destroy them if they don't change. So look, tea, Trishna tea, my tea's called Berry Keto or Unstoppable Health Win. And it has the ginger, it has the mint, it has the milk tissue that cleans out your liver. Guess where I'm going with this at? That's exactly what people tell you about when, hey, when they tell you, hey, what tea do I take? Oh, you take the ginger, you take all this for the, for the COVID, right? Well, this tea is amazing. Because it has that and more. It has the ginseng that gives you the energy. And then it tastes good. And that's my tea. You can pick it up at trishnatea.com. It's there. Cheap. It's cheap. It's probably like $9, $10, whatever it is. It's cheap. I brought it out. I designed it. It's there. Then I did sugaristhedevil.net. Sugaristhedevil.net. So me and my wife were in the process of looking for a taco truck and I've always cooked, but I never did the keto. I never did, you know, cook keto and we we're looking for a taco truck and we're driving around. My wife was like, we were looking for a place, you know, a taco place. And we're looking at tr a truck and we're looking at some little small restaurants and stuff. And my wife says, babe, do you do know that it'll be better? I know you want to reach a lot of people. Do you know it'd be better if we can be able to give people all around the, you know, the U S right. And I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? She goes, well, you know what? Why don't you do a bakery? And guess what? We could do it from here. And I was like, man, you know what? I think you're on to something. Well, we've been doing really successful at our bakery. Sugaristhedevil.net. Why did I make sugaristhedevil.net? Because I wanted to show people that they still can enjoy I don't want to say sweet because I don't got sugar in it, but they still can enjoy treats that are very delicious and it's not going to hurt them. And they can enjoy as much as they want, as much as they want. Chocolate, ch uh, chocolate chip cookies, number one seller. You're like, they are so delicious. Banana nut bread. I made the banana nut bread. My wife made the chocolate chip cookies because I said the banana nut bread cannot be sold until it tastes almost like my grandma's. Do you know how hard that was? And we went back and forth and, and finally I perfected. And it's amazing. Banana nut bread. That's that's another number one seller. So I do all this. And then during that time, guess what? I'm writing a book. Me and my wife, thanks to my wife. My wife did all the typing and everything on it. And, and we just did, we did an awesome book. It's a beautiful book. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I, I'm in the process. And I shouldn't bring this out, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it out. So I'm in the process of selling my own low carb corn tortillas. Not corn. I can't say corn because they're not corn. But, um, uh, what, are they, what are they made out of, um, Oh, man, I'm trying to remember what they're made out of. Cactus. So I'm in the process of selling my cactus tortillas. That's what I'm practicing. I'm, I'm working on it right now, working on the deal. But, I mean, who knows, right? 
And I do all kinds of things. So I'm DJing, man. Matter of fact, I'm DJing over there at um at the Gridiron Sports Bar and Grill. We're doing the, we got the Canelo fight. We're gonna be doing that. And I'm the gra- I'm a graphic artist, so I help people with their graphics. And you know, when you somebody tells me, hey, I'm busy, I couldn't get back to you, I say, you just don't know how busy I am. But I'm blessed and I'm glad that I'm able to do everything I do. So graphic artist, DJ, keto coach, intimate fasting coach, everything, guys. So don't ever think you cannot do nothing. If you want to open up a business, I can help you open your business up. So shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all. But let's get back to what we're talking about. How to defeat the evil sugar addiction. All right. So what I want you to do, if y'all really want to do this, because I, I really want you to do this. So if y'all really want to do this, and you're going to have all my help and everything. And even if you send me a picture and, and show me you're throwing your sugar away, I'll send you something from my bakery, right? Get that sugar out your house. So this is, what I, this is how I want to help y'all. So if you have sugar in your house right now, I don't care if it's cane sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, if it's anything to do with sugar, I want you to get rid of it. I want you to throw it away. I know I'm going to be asking for so much. You might be like, I paid for this. I, don't think of that. Throw it away. Show venge to it. Show vengeance. Throw it away. Throw it into your trash can. Don't give it to nobody. Throw it away. Then I want you to go on Amazon, or if you could find it at the store, I think you find it at the store, but go to Amazon and get Lakanto monk fruit. Lakanto monk fruit classic. Lakanto monk fruit classic. That's a sweetener. That's not sugar. It's not sugar. But I guarantee you, you're going to like it or love it. I love it. Right. But I don't I don't eat it all the time, but you're going to love it. That's one sweetener you could have. Remember, y'all should be recording this or y'all should be writing it down. Lakanto monk fruit. And after we get done with the video, if you need to ask me questions, even if you're watching me on YouTube or something, hey, guys, hit the bell bell for me. And if you have any questions, leave me some questions here because I am here to help you change your life the way you think and to defeat the addiction. That's what my main goal, my main purpose, my main purpose that I'm here right now is to help you defeat the sugar addiction. So if you've been going through diabetes and you're tired of going through diabetes, you're type two, guess what? Smile because I can help you beat it. We can beat diabetes together. When I coach people, I, I we do this together. We do this together. And guess what? I want to win. I want to win with God in front of everything I do. We are going to win. We are going to win. I, I don't expect nothing else but to win. But with God in front of everything I do. So start seeing life different. Start seeing everything different. How to beat an addiction. How do you beat the addiction? I want you to throw it away in your trash. And and while you're throwing it away, say, you got me sick. I am sick because of you. No longer. You're not. And don't go back in the trash. Get your your sugar out. Throw it away. Right. Right substitute it's always about substituting everything you enjoy and what you like right so get sweeteners in your house there's no one in your house that should be eating sugar no matter what their age is my kids i try to get them away from all the sugar i can they have to eat the, they have to eat the monk fruit lakanto if they or they have to they don't drink milk they have to drink the almond milk Right. So I try to take I can't take them away from everything. I got a six year, 10 year old, but I try to take them away from what I can. And definitely sugar is not in my house. You cannot find sugar in my house. Why? Because I do not want the devil in my house. Sugar is the devil. Now, G man, what's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Awesome. DJ, man. Make sure you have uh, G man up, man. Friend of mine. Uh, He also does the photo booths. He does all kinds of stuff. The letters. He does all kinds of stuff, man. He's really awesome. Check him out. And he also does the signs, man. He He's a graphic designer, too. He does the big signs. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm my company's Unstoppable Graphics, and he can put his company down there, but he does the big, big signs. So if you need a sign done, hey, hit him up. So the thing is, guys, beat the addiction. So now you're going to get Lakanto monk fruit, which is a sweetener, and then you're going to get Erythritol, 
This, these, are, these are the orders. You, you don't have to have them in this order, but these are the ones you want. Erythritol. Erythritol. Right? Sweetener. Number three sweetener, stevia. You can find stevia in pretty much all the stores. Stevia. Right? If you do this, you are going to start a process. You're going to start your progress and you're going to start making progress, right? So you got to get the evil sugar out your house. That's one thing. Number two, get everything that's um, processed. You, you want to stay away from processed food. You want to stay away from processed food. You want to be careful when you eat stuff that serves circulose or circulose like that. You want to stay away from that. Why? Because that's a sugar. That's a, a man-made sugar, right? Sodas. You want to stay away from sodas. Why? Because they got aspartame in them. Aspartame. That's not good for you. But I tell you what you can do. Go get you some Zevia. Zevia. Z-E-V-I-A. Zevia. That's what you need. It's delicious. It's going to help your craving. And the thing about, okay, so now in 14 days, today, if you wanted to start today, go throw your sugar away. Change out your sugar. Order it tonight. Go to Amazon. You always want to order everything else from Amazon if you're like me. And order what's going to help you. You have to be the one that's going to lead your family. You, you know, at one time I remember that I was afraid that when my son asked me questions, because I'm I just turned 50 years old, guys, believe it or not, I'm 50. And at one time, three and a half years ago, I couldn't answer my kids when my kids said, Dad, you, you know, when they were talking futuristic, and I was like, Man, I hope I'm here two weeks from now, three weeks from now, because I was sick. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Well, I'm wearing a tie, I'm wearing a suit, it's on, you know. You have to lead by example. They look up to you. You know, a lot of parents, and, and I'm not saying this, and I'm not here to judge no one. Believe me, my shows are never to judge no one. But a lot of parents, they have their kids and their kids are overweight. But it's because you're leading that. Because you haven't told them, hey, man, you know what? I We used to do it. Me, my wife, and my kids, we used to go to the buffets all the time. We lived at buffets. I don't even touch buffets no more. I don't, I don't even know what a buffet is because I don't even, it doesn't excite me. Food doesn't excite me. Food is something that I know my body needs to be nurtured by, and that's what I do. But I'm always doing the keto lifestyle, or if I'm going over my ketones, if I'm, if I'm going over my ketones, it's only because I'm eating more cauliflower or eating some more of this or some more of that, you know? But I'm not out there eating french fries and all this stuff like that, you know? And you can do it, okay? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to get... All the sugar out your house. That's number one. Number two, I want you to get salt out your house. You have the blue salt, whatever that salt is. I want you to get Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt. Think of it as the pink salt. Pink salt. And this works if you're doing the keto lifestyle or if you're not. This is a better way of nurturing your body. Right? So go get the Himalayan salt, pink salt, get it, right? All right. So now, number one, get rid of all the sugar you have. Even the little containers and all that stuff like that. We used to have the container when we were, when we were young and stuff like that. Get rid of everything, right? And then start making better choices on cereal you're buying your kids. Next time, I, I want y'all, this is really important. Number four. Read everything you buy. Everything you buy. Read it thoroughly and read everything. Because if you read everything, you'll see that a box of cereal contains, contains 58 to 59 of sugar, grams of sugar, right? And then you got added sugar. And then you, and this thing is full of sugar. 
right? All right. Number five, get rid of all the fruit, right? If you have to eat it tonight, eat it tonight and make sure you change your fruit for berry family. And berries are good. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Look how much choices you have. What you don't want, you don't want pineapple. You don't want watermelon. You don't want uh, peaches. You don't want to, because that has, that carries too much, especially apples. You know, uh, apple keeps the doctor away. No, the apple keeps the doctor there. And it keeps you with having diabetes or you're about to have diabetes. Guys, if we do not take care of ourselves, as much sugar that's in every kind of product, in the restaurants, everything, ask questions. Number six, ask questions. When you go eat, ask questions. Tell them, tell the cook, whoever you want to talk to, you tell them, hey, you're about to spend money in this restaurant. I want to know what you have in this food. Ask questions. You'd be surprised what they put in that food. So ask questions, right? Number seven. Am I seven? Yeah, seven. So number seven, believe you can do it. Believe you can beat the addiction. Believe, I mean, think about it, man. We get sick over, I don't know more, but, you know, anymore. But people get sick all the time. When they finish eating, they get bloated. Oh, I'm full. Oh, man, uh, that was good, man. I'm full. How is that good? You feel terrible. I used to feel like that when your stomach all bloated and everything. It felt nasty, right? But. Oh, man, I ate so much I can't move. That's exactly how you feel. You can't move. It's dangerous, right? Learn to pull away. Learn about dis- discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself like, like you never have before. Guys, I, I do intimate fasting. I do 20 hours a day. 20 hours a day. Every day. Every day. If I don't hit my 20 hours, I hit 18 hours. Every day. And I'm good. I am so good. I feel so good. You know, my I was talking about earlier dopamine. Dopamine, dopamine I was saying it right. Dopamine, my, it's leveled. It's balanced. It's balanced. You know, it, it's good. This is, I love my life. I love the way I feel, but I know if I want to change three and a half years ago, we won't be having, I won't be doing these videos and man, we're at 42 minutes, man. I'm about to fall out this thing. I'm about to get done with this, but guys, let's get back to what we're talking about. So now after that, get ready because the first week you're going to feel bloated. You're going to feel sick. You're going to feel lightheaded. You're going to feel moody. You're going to feel terrible. You look, you're going to be like this. This is you. Symptoms of sugar withdrawal may include headache, impaired, concentration, sudden outbursts of rage. So you're going to be mad. You're, you're going you're gonna to hate it. You're going to have headaches. You're going to feel, oh, my God, I, I, I feel sick. That's why people can't. They cannot delete sugar out their life because it's an addiction and they hate to go through this. They can't go through their first week, so they stop. They know how hard it is. They want it, but they don't want it because the first week is going to be hard. You are going to feel sick because it's an addiction. The second week, it's more of a denial stage. Now you're like, man, I don't I don't even know why I'm listening to free. He's not even a doctor. You're right. I'm not a doctor. But the reason why you're probably listening to me, because you probably know how big I was or you probably know how sick I was. You probably know where I was at at that one time. And that's a good reason to listen to me. Guys, the truth of the matter is. If you do not change what you're doing. It can hurt you. It's probably already hurting you now. Some people that some people they're they're real big and they say I don't have a health problem. But then they can't breathe. Or they choke when they're asleep, when they're when they're falling asleep, or they have asthma, or they can't even tie their shoe. That's a health problem. That's a health problem. Hey man, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all share my videos. I got two videos out there, so make sure y'all share them and everything. I'm doing a, I'm doing a watch party right now on the ecam. I do a watch party on the ecam. 
and y'all can check that out and everything. Um, we're at 44 minutes. Um, I wanted to play something for you guys. And uh, let me see. It's called, uh, this is my wife. This is my wife saying it. That's something I wrote. It's called The Dangers of Sugar. Here we go. The Dangers of Sugar. Unstable blood sugar control insulin resistance. Sugar can damage the insulin receptor sites on cells, causing them to not work as well as they should. This makes it harder to get the glucose into the cells to use as energy. The body, sensing it needs more glucose in the cells, puts out more insulin to try to compensate. Increased risk for type 2 diabetes. Eventually, the compensation can't keep up and a person's blood glucose levels rises. There is a continuum of dysfunction until a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes can result. High insulin levels are inflammatory and can also create a host of other issues. Increased body fat obesity. An increase in belly fat increases risk of chronic disease like heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Increased free fatty acid accumulation, which can have negative effects on blood lipids, triglycerides, and cholesterol. Leaky gut. Excess sugar feeds the bad bacteria like candida in the gut and can lead to an imbalance in the gut bacteria. Dysbiosis or an overgrowth of bad bacteria is inflammatory and contributes to leaky gut and a cascade of mental, digestive, and systemic health issues over time. Increased risk for certain cancers. Sugar feeds cancer and excess sugar intake. Poor blood sugar control and increased insulin production increases your risk for certain cancers. Increased inflammation, which is the precursor for all chronic disease. Adrenal stress. The effect on destabilizing blood sugar levels creates fight or flight response, which creates a stress on adrenal function. Cell damage. Damage to the cells in your body, which lowers your cells' ability to communicate properly with each other. Sugar reacts with proteins in the body and damages them and their ability to function properly. Increase in dental cavities. Cardiovascular health issues negatively affects brain health. Did you know that we now call Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes? How much sugar is too much? Keto is Life TV. Hey guys, appreciate you guys. Man, do this challenge. Do this challenge. It's only going to help you and your family. Uh, 14 days, guys. I promise you the first week is going to be hard. The second week is going to be a denial stage. But the third week is going to start feeling really good. You're going to be noticing that you're waking up earlier, that you feel good, you got more energy. You ain't going to know where it's coming from, but you're going to feel so good about it. You know? And if you do that, man, I promise you, you're going to be thanking me and thanking you because it's a hard thing to do. But if you do it, it'll change your life. And this right here, too, can change your life. Pick up the blueprint right now. The truth key to his life. Guys, thank you so much. Thank I hope you all enjoyed the show. I hope you all learned from this show. And to the next video, we'll do it. Uh, actually, we coming. We'll say maybe Wednesday, if not Wednesday. We coming because I'm always DJing. So anyway, guys, take care of yourself. Be blessed. If any of my services, if I can help you in any of my services, because, you know, I do the DJing, uh, the graphic artists. I do a lot of things. Um, Please reach out to me, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life TV.